To explore how references work in PHP, we need to first take a step back and look how variables work. Typically, we think of a variable as a named container for a value. But we often find ourselves in a situation where we need to copy a variable. Copies can be as straightforward as directly assigning one variable to another, but copies can also occur in other situations, such as when passing a variable to a function, when returning a variable from a function, or when iterating over a variable. So when we copy a variable, we're copying the contained value as well. And that makes sense. If we have two different variables with different names, we'd expect the containers to be different. If we edit one container, we expect the other container to remain the same. But this has some problems with it. Every time we copy a variable, we need to duplicate the contained value as well. This can lead to severe memory duplication, which can result in some major performance issues. The way that PHP solves this problem is by separating the variable from the value container. Variables then become nothing more but pointers to a value. When we copy a variable, we are just copying that pointer. This introduces a new problem though. When we delete a variable, how do we know if we can delete the value? The way PHP solves this is by keeping a count of the number of references to a value. So the value container now has two fields, the value itself and a reference counter, which is also known as a ref count. Every time we copy a variable, we increase this ref count, and every time we delete a variable, we decrease the ref count. But if the ref count ever hits zero, we can safely delete the value. But we have another problem. If we edit the copy of a variable, we're also ed editing the original one as well because they point to the same value. Luckily, we already have a way of fixing this. We can use the ref count to tell us when we can edit or when we need to copy the value first. So when we are editing a value, if the ref count is 1, we can directly edit the value. If the ref count is greater than 1, we need to copy that value first, and then we can edit the copy. This is also known as copy on write. So far, so good. Now what happens when we want two variables to be edited together at the same time? In PHP, we would use the ampersand reference operator. But what is this doing under the hood? Well, to implement this feature, all we need to do is disable copy on write. But we only want to disable this for referenced values. The way we can identify this is to add one more field to the value container. This is a simple Boolean value, which we'll call is underscore ref. If is ref is true while we're editing a variable, we don't copy the value first. But now, what happens if we try to do a normal copy of a referenced value? We can't just increase the ref count, because if we did that, we would be using a reference. So we need to do a full copy of the value. Therefore, any time that we use references, we lose all of the benefits that copy and write gives us. In PHP 4, this was how all variables worked. Starting with PHP 5.0, objects are treated in a slightly different way. Instead of storing the object directly on the value itself, there's a second layer of abstraction. Objects are stored in their own container and pointed to by the value. What this means for us is that even if we copy an object variable, all edits still go to the same place. If we want to make an actual copy of an object value, we need to instead use the clone operator. 
So variables point to values, and variable references force multiple variables to point to the same value. Object references, on the other hand, allow multiple values to point to the same object. In the real world, it's highly recommended that you avoid variable references unless you really need the behavior they can provide. The problem is that references behave as spooky action at a distance. It can become very difficult to tell when or why referenced variables change. So when writing modern PHP code, don't try to outsmart the system. Using references to try to save memory will usually wind up costing you more memory in the long run. Let PHP handle variables for you. It's smarter than you think.